Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, video on uh, basic electrical repairing. This is the last and final video in this course. Uh, we were talking about earthing and we learnt about plate earthing in the previous video. In this video, we will talk about uh, another type of earthing called as pipe or rod earthing. Uh, pipe or rod earthing is uh, what is commonly found these days because it is a far more easier way of uh, doing the earthing and is usually maintenance free. So, uh, the pipe or rod earthing can be done slightly differently for different types of soils. If the soil is uh, uh, moisturous or it is a little wet, you can actually do the uh, earthing directly onto the soil without having to use the clay or salt. So, in such a case, we take a GI pipe about 40 millimeters diameter and then we uh, thrust this pipe into the soil for at least about uh, uh, 4 or 5 uh, feet, at least 4 or 5 feet. It can be higher as well depending on uh, how the soil is. And uh, once you feed this in, there is a clamp on top where the GI wire is then connected to the mains there. And in this pipe, you will typically have small, small holes which are placed at uh, intervals to ensure that the pipe is completely touching every part of the earth. You place a clamp on top and from the clamp, you connect to the GI wire straight to the mains and from the mains, it is then connected to different uh, earthing points across the entire house. And normally, the top portion of this pipe uh, is placed in a small opening under the ground, but you can always um, uh, cover this to ensure that you can open it any time and do it. The other type uh, of soil is the hard soil and in a hard soil, you will need to, because there is no moisture, you will need to place um, salt and charcoal mixture here. And as we already saw in the previous thing, the charcoal essentially maintains the humidity or uh, increases the conductivity and salt uh, as an ionic solution reduces the resistance to the dissipation of electricity. On top, you again place a clamp here through which you connect a GI wire straight to the mains. You need to ensure that these clamps are tight and the connecting wire is really tight to ensure that the electricity or the leakage electricity that is dissipated is properly grounded onto the earth. So, depending on the soil, you can choose whether you want to use the charcoal and salt mixture or you can do it without that. So, if there is a moisturous surface, you do not need to put the charcoal and salt. Now, this procedure of pipe earthing is far more easier to do it because you can straight away uh, insert a full GI pipe of uh, 40 millimeters uh, diameter straight into the earth and can uh, ensure that the earthing is clearly made. Now, if it is a moisturous surface, again you do not need to keep watering it, whereas if you are, if it is a hard surface, you may need to water it once in a while, but the frequency of watering is much, much lesser compared to the plate earthing style. And that is why this is uh, maintenance free. Always ensure that there are holes made in these pipes at equal distances to ensure that they are properly placed and they are in full contact with the ground or with the salt and charcoal surface. So, the pipes we are using here is the uh, GI pipe. GI basically stands for galvanized iron pipe. And the wires that are connected from the pipe to the mains are also uh, galvanized iron wires. We did see the uh, galvanized iron wire in one of the earlier videos when we were checking the board. And these are very thick wires which are used to dissipate electricity back to the earth. So, for a um, hard surface, you may need to dug, uh, dig a pit for about uh, 6, 7 feet where the GI pipe is placed underneath along with the charcoal and uh, salt mixture. Now, after you do uh, the earthing, you will need to check whether your earthing, earthing is working properly or not. And in order to check that, we have already shown you that method earlier in one of the videos. We take a, a test lamp and then we place one point of the test lamp on the face and the other point on the earthing. So, if the bulb is glowing, that means that the earthing is functioning properly. 
So you need to ensure that you check the earthing after you install the earthing or if you establish the entire connections for the earthing. So in this video, we tried understanding what a pipe or rod earthing is. We do hope through this course, you would have learned a lot about what, how and uh, specific uh, uh, ways in which you need to work as an electrician. Continue learning with us and keep learning more about electrical trade in our future courses. Thank you very much.